Hey everybody, Roxbox90 here with a whole bunch of M15 spoilers, and since we have a bunch to get through today, let's hop right in with a set, a cycle of new cards. Paragon of the New Dawns and Paragon of X is for a 2-2, two, two, and they're all the same, and they are, well, all humans except for Paragon of the Open Graves. Other white creatures, you control Columbus 1, blue, black, red, basically the anthem the creatures of the color. And they have abilities that give a keyword, vigilance, flying, etc., to a creature for one of the color and tap, except for the black paragon, which is two mana for some reason, I guess because giving death touch on a fly is too good. I don't know. Set so seems pretty interesting for casual. I don't think these are going to be good enough for constructed. I'm pretty sure not, but limited, they definitely have potential. And yeah, that's pretty much, I think, where they'll shine. That in casual. <clears throat> Spirit Bond. Pretty awesome card. I really like it. Two for an enchantment that whenever a non token creature enters the battlefield, you can pay one to get a 1 1 flyer. That's pretty sick. Every time you play a creature for one extra one, you get a 1 1 flyer. Yay, that's really nice for tokens, but it's nice also that it doesn't rely on tokens. Because if you have a focused token deck, then you're not going to be doing this ability that often, and it's useless. So this card could be. Interesting for Soul Sisters in Modern, which is a modern deck, and it may also be maybe in Constructed. If we have a good amount of token support, it could very well become something in Constructed. And I like how it's um, how it also has that you can tap two and sack a spirit to make a non-spirit indestructible. So it allows you to protect your biggest guys from sweepers, which is insane, I think. So it allows you to feed the tokens that you're getting or similar tokens into protecting your biggest guys and also gives you a huge way of generating advantage. For control decks or control variants with tokens going on, I think it definitely has a lot of potential and especially aggressive decks probably even more. But this will be a real speculation card, I think. It'll either be really awesome in standard or not be at all. I don't really think it has a middle ground, but it may even have some potential model. We'll have to see what happens. This one's really interesting. Then we have Siege Dragon. It's a big flying dragon that blows up all walls your opponent's control. That's huge flavor win. I love it. And then when it attacks your opponent controls no walls, which it won't if it lands in play, it deals 5 damage, which this card is pure flavor. It's a fine bomb in limited. That's really obvious. But it's not as good as some other dragons seen before. Of course, it is not Storm with Dragon, which means it's not going to be in standard constructed at all. But I think for limited has potential to be really huge and as a flavor, serious win. Resolute Archangel 7 for 4 of Flying that resets your life total when it comes into play. Back to the starting life, which in EDH Commander is huge. That is huge if you have 40 life to start the game. Because you get a nice body and gain upwards of 20 plus life. And it allows you to flicker it, you can reanimate it, you can do it in a suicide based black white deck. There's so many ways to abuse this card in EDH Commander that's insane. I think it's also going to be pretty solid in the limited environment because by the time you can play it, turn 6, 7, etc., your life total probably will be down. And this card will gain you upwards of 10 plus life on top of the fact you get a nice flyer. So I think it does have some potential even for limited. But EDH Commander is where this card I think will shine the most. Broodkeeper is 4 for 2 3 Human Shaman, that every time an aura attaches to it, you get a 2 2 flyer with fire breathing, which is a big deal. That's no joke. If you can, I'm, again, I'm not sure if the M15 Limited is going to have a lot of Theros. If it is, then this card is going to be a huge, huge win for the format because it's going to allow you consistent advantage with 2 2 dragons. No joke. Also, cubes that have heroic enablers or auras. This card also is probably a surefire win. It just, it's such advantage. It's crazy. Mercurial Pretender is a clone for 5 mana, which you think is, that's terrible, but you can bounce it back to your hand for 4, which protects itself and also allows you to reuse it over and over again. Master of Waves turn 4. This card turn 5. Seems pretty broken to me. And I think, of course, EDH Commander abusing, being able to reuse a clone is always really nice, even though it's expensive. I think that's probably the place it'll explode the most. Ulcerate, an amazing, amazing tempo removal card for black. One for instant speed to kill most things that are weenie, and then you lose three life, which doesn't really matter in aggressive builds. 
problem is Course of Crufix exists and lots of other cards like it that have either hexproof and or four more toughness, making it a good, not insane card. I think with Bio Blight around, this card will most of the time be relegated to the sideboard, but I'm sure it'll have its time and place in the near future. It's a very strong removal spell. Then we have here Sarah for the Masses. Pretty much it's just going to end up being, I think, 5 for a 4 for flying. That's pretty much how it's going to end up most of the time that's in use. I can see it in limited, maybe if some token casual builds use it, but I really don't know if it's going to be strong enough. Pretty sure it's not going to be strong enough for limited constructed. Then we got here Master Polymorphous. Pretty much polymorph on a creature. It'll be interesting to use as a commander, but I haven't really seen many people bouncing around a deck list for it. It's just it's weird to have a commander with this ability because it's just not something we've seen before, really. So I like it. I think it's interesting. I don't really know what to say about it or its abilities yet. We'll have to see. Chasm's Skullcar, I love. 3 for 1 1 that every turn gets stronger and then can get stronger when you do multiple card draws. It, and then when it dies, you get an army with Island Walk. It's a great card to take down other control decks, to take down Mono Blue Devotion. It's very, very strong. EDH Commander, Cube, there's a bunch of areas I think this card could do fantastically in, and I'd love to see this card being pushed to its limits as a good chance of being a standard all star. Quickling, it's okay. I don't know if I love it or not. It's Flash is flying, so you can do it on your opponent's turn to bounce back and give you advantage, especially if you have some kind of uh, bestow thing going on or heroic enablers, that kind of stuff. Could potentially work that way. I don't know if it's constructed viable, but I think in limited it'll be uh, it'd be pretty interesting to see what happens with it. Flash of Dust, I wish they'd reprinted Murder. This is just a five cost murder. Eh, uh, eh. Uh, I mean, it's going to be amazing and limited, but it's not murder. Then we got here. Frost Links, we've had cards like this before, except this one doesn't keep it tapped down, it just does it for one turn. Still, it is tempo, and in limited, that's pretty solid. Then we got Roaring Primadox, will be interesting to see because there are lots of cards that want to be replayed, but 4 for a 4-4 four, four with the ability, I don't know, it's okay. It's okay, I mean, if they reprint something like Thragtales, like this guy's saying over here, then this card will have great synergy, but otherwise, I don't really know if I like it. So those are the spoilers we have today. We have a whole bunch of them, and I know these are very brief opinions that I'm giving here, but uh, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinions, so you can put them down below in the comment section. If you enjoy the video, tap the like button, and stay tuned by subscribing for tons more M15 spoilers as they come. And as always, Rocks Bucks 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.